Danielle just bought some potatoes at the market. She paid P over seven dollars for them, and they weighed two ninths pounds. If potatoes cost R dollars per pound, which is a which of the following is true for all possible values of P and R? Select all that apply. So let's think about this a little bit. However many pounds I buy, if I multiply that times the dollar per pound, that's going to give me the total price that I pay. So let me just write that down. Two ninths, two ninths, and I could even put the units there if I want, but they don't express the units there, so I won't do that here. But if I take the number of pounds times the dollar cost per pound, times the dollar cost per pound, that should be equal to the total amount that I paid. So in this case, that is P over seven. So we know that this is the relationship between two ninths R and P over seven. Now I don't see, I don't see this relationship over here on the right hand side. So I must have to manipulate it somehow in order to get something like that over here. So let's see the different ways that I could manipulate it. And maybe the first thing I'll see is like maybe let me try to solve for P and see what I get. So to solve for P, I would multiply both sides of this equation by seven. So let's do that. Let's multiply both sides by seven. And so on the left hand side, I would end up with seven times two is 14, 14 over nine R, R is equal to, well that cancels with that, is that that is equal to P. And that's exactly what you have over here. Here they just wrote it the other way around. They wrote P is equal to 14 over nine times R. If you have 14 ninths R, that implicitly means you're multiplying 14 over nine times R. So this and this are the exact same thing. So let me check, let me check that one. Now, this one over here, or both of these, they try to solve for R. So let's see which one is the correct one when I solve for R. So to solve for r right over here, I could multiply both sides of this equation times nine over 14. Nine over 14, nine over 14. That cancels with that, that cancels with that. And I am left with r, r, actually let me just do it in that. r is equal to nine over 14 p, or, well, uh, or I could write nine over 14 times p, since they're explicitly writing the multiplication sign out there. But if I just wrote nine 14 p, that's the same thing as nine over 14 times p. Let me write a little bit neater so you don't think that the p is in the denominator, times p. All right, so r is definitely not 2 63 times p. r is nine over 14 times p. So we'll go with that one right over there. And then finally, they solve, they're solving for 14 over nine. Let's see if this is true right over here. So we could go back to what we had. We could go back to this. We could go back to this. And we saw that 14 over nine is e 14 over nine times r is equal to p. If we wanted to solve for 14 over nine, we could divide both sides by r, and you would get 14 over nine is equal to p over r, not p times r. So this one is not true. So these are the two that actually apply.